Okay, today I'm going to explain a concept that a lot of IB students don't understand. To be honest, to be honest with you, when I was an IB student, I didn't understand this concept as well. Okay, but as I accumulate more wisdom after going to university, now I totally grasp the concept. Okay, and I've taught over a hundred students now uh, about this concept. Okay, so patterns become obvious. Okay, I'm, I'm going to teach you how I, how I help students tackle this concept. Okay, so the concept I want to talk about is basically the relationship between elasticity and total revenue. Okay, so just to start off, elasticity equals to percentage change in quantity demand over percentage change in price. Okay, so if it's elastic, okay, then the PED is greater than one. All right. If it's inelastic, on the other hand, it means that the PED is less than one. Okay. So let's look at what's what's the implication on total revenue. Okay. So let's look at um, so if PED is greater than one, right? Okay. And if you increase your price, well, definitely, if you increase your price, quantity demand is going to decrease. That's for sure. Okay, but which is greater than which? If PED is greater than one, okay, then the increase in price, okay, is going to be less than the decrease in uh, in quantity demanded percentage-wise. The percentage increase in price is less than the percentage decrease in quantity demand. Okay, so since total revenue, total revenue equals quantity demand multiplied by price. Okay, so therefore, uh, total revenue will fall. Okay, because the fall, the fall in quantity demand and percentage rise is greater than the percentage increase in price. All right. So in this situation, by lowering price, okay, total revenue is going to go up. Okay, because by lowering price, quantity demand increase, and the increase in quantity demand is even greater than the decrease in price. Okay, so this is the first case. Okay, so for the second case, okay, it's PED less than one. So this is the case where they, where we say it's inelastic. Okay, so again, let's look at two cases. Okay, so if you increase your price, okay, so drop in quantity demand. Okay, which is greater? Um, so if it's inelastic, then the change in price is greater. Okay, so the so increase is greater than the decrease. Total revenue going to increase. Okay, so if you decrease price. The result is the opposite, okay? Because the because the increase um, in quantity demanded, percentage-wise, is not as great as the fall in price, okay? So total revenue is going down, okay? So, um, so as you can see, uh, after this clip, you will see a, a, a chart, a graph that shows the relationship between to total revenue and PED. Okay, so basically, this is how you would explain it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope I can serve you some other time. Thanks.